Morgan, everyone. Today I am here to show you a really wackadoodle pen. That's the only way that I can describe this pen. So this is a Bennu brand pen, and it is a parrot pen, meaning it's supposed to look like a parrot. Uh, if you had told me, you know, a year ago that I would end up possessing a pen that is as in some ways ridiculous as this one, I would have laughed at you and said, that's crazy. I never would have bought that pen. But in using my other Bennu pens, I've really, really enjoyed them. I've liked the feel of them. I like the fact that they're really bright and cheerful looking. Um, and I love the nibs that come with them, which are all Schmid brand nibs. This is also one with a Schmidt brand nib. This is the Blue Parrot which as you can see also includes some gold sparkle down on the bottom. It is, uh, it has a little parrot face here and uh, it comes, I believe it comes in pink, purple, and green in addition to the blue. And the eyes on the parrot, which is just these little sparkly bits, uh, match the color that you pick for your pen. It has these um, feathers that are white up here it's uh, supposed to be like a little sitting parrot when you post it it still looks like a parrot although the, the feathers are upside down but you uh, you essentially have a little parrot at the end of your pen so basically um, I would say that for the most part this pen is a novelty however it does have a great nib on it <laughs> and it is a cartridge converter pen so the bottom opens up like this and you have a uh, converter here. And I believe that I, I put Konpeki, Pilot Iroshizuku Konpeki in here because I thought that would match nicely to the blue color here. Um, one downside, oh, and so it has the Bennu logo back here on the back of the head. Here. One downside that I have found of this particular pen is because it has so many white components, especially, especially the cap and the um, nib section, as you can see, I've already stained it a little bit. Um, and I don't even know how it got a little bit of pink on it as opposed to blue. I think that might have been what I had on a paper towel when I was rubbing it around. But uh, let's go ahead and do a writing sample with this. It does have a smaller nib. So the, uh, some of the Bennu, the larger Bennu pens have a size six nib. This is a size five nib, but it uh, writes quite well, I think. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Um, one other thing that I noticed about this one that I did not notice with um, my other Bennu pens is that the uh, converter did not seat as uh, firmly as on some of them. I've never had any problems with the converters on the other Bennu's I have, but this one um, at first seemed a little loose. I tightened the nib up a little, which also seemed loose and that helped, but it was sort of odd that it had that issue. So this is a Bennu parrot pen. Let's get in there even further so you can see. In blue. And this is a fine nib, I believe. And then the ink in here is Pilot Hiroshizuku Konpeki. And there's not really any line variation because it's just a standard fine nib. You can hear it against the, the paper. I kind of like the amount of feedback that this gives me. It, um, it's not super stiff. So there's a little bit of, I mean, you probably could get a little bit of line variation by pressing. Um, the Schmidt nibs tend to be very flexible, which is part of what I like about them. So then we're gonna write Move this up just a tiny bit. The quick brown fox. Jumps over the lazy dog. All right. 
So that is the crazy parrot pen. I um, really like writing with it. It is a little bit of a, I would say it runs on the wet side, the nib does, and this particular ink also runs a little wet. So that could be um, fooling me into thinking it's a wet pen or it could just be wet all around, but I really enjoy writing with this fine nib. Um, the medium is also a size that I enjoy in this size nib, but um, there you go. Feel free to ask me any questions. I don't have a lot to say about this parrot pen other than it's a little wackadoodle like I was saying, but uh, I think it's really cute and I uh, it just makes me smile when I write with it, which is kind of kind of what happens whenever I write with any of my Bennu pens. So that's pretty much the purpose they serve in my collection, in addition to being fairly good and reliable writers. All right, well, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see that together with the pen there. I'm going to put a link to where I got this pen, which was uh, Truffet. And uh, I, that's the only place I found it, but I'm sure you could find it at some other retailers, but I'll put a link down below to this pen on their site. If you have any questions, feel free to ask below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Feel free to subscribe to keep track of future videos on my channel. And I really hope to see you next time. But in the meantime, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.